Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 115. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 107 to 119. Hey, this video is in response to YouTubers Love Excel number 104. In that video, we found uh, the first positive value. Now, I want to do a little amendment on that. I want to find the uh, first, the second positive value. And I want to do it two ways. One, a correct way and one, a, a not correct. Here's the not correct. If I look at this formula right here, it's got the range that will expand as we go down, greater than or equal to zero, and that equals two. So it'll count, and when it finds two positive values, when that is equal to two, because it'll find zero, one, two, three, four, et cetera, as it, as it copied down. Only when it's equal to two will it show a true now, what's the problem here? Uh, there's a positive, negative, negative, positive. But why in the world is it this highlighted, too? And why does it say true? Because this formula right here, count if, it's looking at this whole range that's expanding as we go down. There's one, there's two. When it's here, this count if still evaluates to two. So that's not going to work. We need to also have a formula that says that's not negative, or not ne negative and equal to zero. That's what we did over here in this formula. Here we used an and, count if, equal to 2. And then we said that's right there is greater than 0. So that's how you get the true. But the point here is now we have 2 there and 2 here. This is the better formula, 2. But that's not a good way to do it, because what if you want to find the third or fourth or fifth? I'm going to highlight that 2 and then click right there. And I'm going to lock it by hitting the F4 key. That way, uh, this true-false formula is linked to there. So when I put in 3 here, it'll find the third positive value. Control-Enter, and then I'm going to copy it down. Double-click and copy it down. I'll do the same thing here, even though this formula is not a good formula. And double-click and send it down. <clears throat> now, if I hit um, F9 to randomize, um, I can see that it um, still getting the second value, but if I change this to three, sure enough, it's jumping. Uh, there's the true. That's one positive, two positive, and it gets the third positive right there. So that's a better way to do it. That way you can get the second or third or fourth or whichever positive value you want. All right, we'll see you next trick.